Hello and welcome to Steve Taylor's Coaches Chronicles. I'm Nick Marconi here with Steve Taylor, Tom Cole, and Terry Crosby. We've got a great coach for you guys today. It's Ken Winters out of Whitmer. Guys, take it away. Thank you, Nick, for the fantastic introduction. We are back. We've got another fantastic coach. You know, Northwest Ohio, we are so blessed to have so many of these fantastic coaches. It's hard to pick out which ones we're going to highlight each week, but we've got an awesome football coach, Ken Winters, over at Whitmer High School. They've got a 6-1 and record in the track right now, and he's doing a fantastic job. Tom, tell us a little bit more about Coach Ken. Which, Foss, you're right, which is one of the great leagues in Ohio. I mean, yes. you, you know, you're 6-1 and one in the track. I mean, that's, that's saying something. But you guys will really appreciate this. I was uh, interviewing him the other day, and uh, actually it kind of reminded me a little bit of the way that you run Taylor, boss, and that is you adjust the programs to fit the talent. You know, you put people in positions for them to be successful. You know, I know Cross and I are on double secret probation. It may not be here next week, but but it, but it could be a very wise decision, quite honestly. I understand that. Sometimes you got to make tough yeah, decisions. you got to make those decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to have goals. <laughs> but if Cross goes, can I have his parking spot? That's all. Hey, Cross, I'm sorry. I just like to get the parking spot. But back to Coach Winters. Um, He's an old school coach. You know, I've been coaching a long time. I guess I'd be considered an old school coach. You have certain values and certain, right. you're like your core values right. that you run sure. our business with party and your time. dad. Yeah, party. Uh, the core values. And, uh, but he said something so interesting to me. He said, you know, kids have changed. Right. And he said, I've got this great group of kids, but like I'm letting them do things that I would have never done before. Not bad things, but like they want advisors on their helmet. He said, I was old school. You don't wear a visor playing football. But then he thought about it. He says, you know what? What does that really hurt? Nothing. If it means something to them. And he said, I still have my core values, the lines that cannot be crossed. But he's bending some new generation of kids, new thoughts, new ideas. And, and that's why he's successful. Because a lot of people will just stick with, this is the way we do it, and that's it. And, and then kids go their separate ways. And so, Coach, uh, great job. And imagine the amazing thing about Coach this year. What I notice is he's placing, he's giving his individual players uh, a position to do their job. Right. Okay? Now, if each and every player does their job or does their job, that results in wins. Absolutely, and I, think, I think that is a secret formula this yep. year. Yeah, that's that's a really good point for sure. We all know something about you know having good coaches. Yes. That makes you know the, yeah. all the difference in the world. Yeah. You've had some of your coaches come into the dealership. You still see them after, you know, how many years? Oh, yeah, great, great coaches, you know? great yeah. relationships. And I, I just highly yeah. admire them, you know, just for, for their, sure. not just teaching the sports balls, but teaching about life. Life skills. You know, that that's more important to me than, than right. teaching the sports. You know? Yeah, yep, yep. So yes. the life skills, I think, outweigh the wins yes. and losses. And that's what uh, we're talking about with Coach Winters. He does a fantastic yep. job both on and off the field. So congratulations. Thank you for all you do in our community. Thanks for helping these young people out. Keep up the great work. And everybody, tune in next week. If you know a coach, too, that you'd love to see on a show, yes. let us know. Reach out to any one of us. We'd love to recognize some of the coaches in our area that are making a difference both on the field and off the field. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.